Hey guys, welcome back. Another trailer reaction. We got The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 4, Thicker Than Water trailer out now. And I figured to do another reaction, so let's just get right into the trailer. Really excited for this episode, you know? The uh, key art was released yesterday and it's got some really interesting stuff, so... You won't get away with this, Joe. Take them. You've become a problem. David, I'm not your enemy. Joan's betrayal wasn't as bad as yours, little brother. I what the hell? What I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. No one's above the law. Except you. Oh, God. Javi. Kate. We gotta get you out of here. Joan's people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. We can't just cut and run. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. Have you guys even looked out the window? Oh, holy shit. What? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. The walkers are invading. Get away from me! Tell me where he is! That's what this is about, then. You want to know where the boy is? Oh, crap. What the hell? to get AJ back. We're all monsters now. Shit. Crap. David may be getting hanged after all. Hopefully there's a... Uh... Alright, sorry about that. Uh, this is not from Telltale's like, official YouTube channel. This is from uh, someone else's. But... As for the trailer, holy crap, got a lot of good stuff in that trailer. Uh, now, the key art kind of hinted towards this, and I think we're definitely getting a lot of that in this trailer, is that Gabe is going to play a huge, huge role in this episode. Now, back in part two of episode one, uh, Ties That Bind, yes, you had after the issue that with Kate... Gabe was like, I'm going to step up. I'm going to be a man. That's what my dad would want. That's what my dad would do. And we didn't get a lot of that in episode three because Gabe really isn't around for a lot of that. So it looks like we're finally going to get some of that stuff here. Now, other than the fact that he has a thing for Clem, I actually really don't mind Gabe, to be honest. And I want to see him go through with his promise. So that's going to be... Definitely something interesting to see. See if he can actually go through with this plan. That's definitely something I took away from the key art. That's something I took away from this trailer. And I'm hoping, I really am hoping that he goes through with this. Because honestly, Gabe has probably one of the best character arcs going for him right now. Not a lot of these characters are really that fleshed out. So I'm hoping to see at least something come as a result of this. But um, there was some big stuff with Clem in this trailer. She was very, very prominent towards the end. But one thing, but I, want, I don't want to get into that first. There was something that, like, apparently David's accusing me of betraying him. I'm not sure if that maybe comes as a result of whether you chose to leave with Kate or go help David. Because in my game, I chose to go help David. I chose to meet, go to his house where I was met by Ava, who took me to the... Uh, church where we confronted Joan about the issue, about what we found out. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen in my game. Maybe he just finds out something between me and Kate, which I have been actively trying to avoid in my game. So I'm really hoping that, you know, it's not because of that. But just let's go through this trailer again. You won't get away with this, Joan. Just Take some clips them. from episode three, getting, uh, you know, Knocked unconscious. You've become a problem. David, I'm not your enemy. Jones betrayal. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Little brother. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I didn't betray him. What have I done to betray him? I'm trying to think. In my game, specifically, I haven't, I've actually been kind of good to David for the most part. I mean, I've been avoiding all like attempts from Kate to make a move on me. Like, seriously, I've done nothing of that. Even before I found out David was alive, I haven't really been going for that. Um, I sided with him. I 
went along with his plan, so I'm trying to think. Maybe this is just a scene that's going to happen if you did something, but that's at least what I'm hoping for. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. No one's above the law. I feel like that line would have been more effective in the last episode, which it was called Above the Law. But, you know, I'm not a writer or a telltale. A noose hanging station. Javi! Kate! We gotta get you out of here. Jones people know we're holed up here. And they're gonna come looking Sorry. for us. We can't just cut and run. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. Have you guys even looked out the window? <sighs> All right, so just before I go on, um, yeah, that's the thing with K Gabe is that while he wants to become a man, he is very loyal to his father, and I think that's going to be something that's going to get him killed at some point, or at least hurt him or the group is that he's extremely loyal to his father. You saw that in the flashback of episode 3 when he didn't want to leave the house because maybe David comes back. And now you're seeing that again with this, is that he doesn't want to leave his father behind. And that could be a decision that ends up hurting the group, or at least him. So that's something we got to worry about. And if I recall correctly, we got some explosions. The walkers are invading Richmond. So we've got some... It looks like there's definitely going to be some sort of war between the people who are loyal to Joan and the people who are loyal to David. At least that's something that was hinted at in the previous episode. Like, I got allies, Richmond is a political minefield and stuff like that. So that's something that's probably going to be very prominent in this episode. Holy shit. That's... And now this is where I started really getting interesting. Now, David said in the last episode, AJ was alive. That he survived whatever he was suffering from. But with this, I'm starting to doubt David. Because it definitely seems like AJ may be dead. Clem is demanding Lingard, or whatever his name was, who is apparently high again, that he tell her where AJ is, and he doesn't look to be cooperating. What this is about, then, you want to know where the We got a flashback. I'm going to get AJ back. We're all monsters now. All right, so that looks like another... That's a flashback when Clem and AJ are at that camp with David for similar to the previous episode. I don't know where everyone else is in that uh, flashback, but right now it's just Clem fighting a bunch of walkers. You know, when David said AJ was alive, he really didn't give me a reason not to believe him. And now that we see something in this trailer, it kind of looks to, be, to me at least that maybe David may have been lying about AJ. Now the last trailer was very misleading in terms of the stuff that happened in the actual episode, so I made a promise to myself that I'm going to go into the next episode maybe not trusting so much in the trailer, because like I said, the last one was very misleading in terms of like painting David as the villain as, and some of the other stuff that happened when David actually turned out to be a pretty good guy. So now I'm taking what's in the trailer with a bit of a grain of with some uh, bit of a grain of salt, so don't want to jump to conclusions too quickly. At least that's how I see it. Um, but as usual, the most important thing that I find in the trailers or any episode of this season is the stuff that happens with Clementine. Sorry, Telltale, but Clementine is the best. I am not gonna get, like... I, I like Javier, but Clementine is the main focus for me. Okay? That's who I'm invested with. That's who I care about, so... Obviously, I'm going to show more attention to that than I am with anything that may be going on with Javier, even though I do like his story. But as to that, that's pretty much all I can get from this trailer. I do like Clem's little line right there at the end, we're all monsters now. And I saw a post on the uh, Telltale forums, 
is like kind of reminiscent of what the last when the la- uh, in episode five of season one where like the stranger's telling Lee, "Do you think I'm a monster?" And you know we can respond, "Yes, we're all monsters." Uh, no, you're not. That's kind of reminiscent of that line from season one that like we are all monsters at this point. We have all changed. We have all kind of lost a piece of ourselves because of what this world has made us do, what we've done, and all that kind of stuff. And there's a line, at least that I got in my game, that Jesus hinted at, like, uh, after a killed badger was, be careful, Javi, you may, lose a pe- you may lose your own humanity or lose a part of yourself as a result of what you do. So I wonder, I guess that's kind of like a re- reoccurring theme. Uh, it could have been a little more prominent, but it's there. But overall, I think this was a very good trailer. And I'm very excited. The episode comes out April 25th next week. Uh, so today is Thursday. That's coming out on Tuesday, next Tuesday. And I am very looking forward to it. However, it is the penultimate episode of The Walking Dead. And in the majority of cases with penultimate episodes involving Telltale, they have not always been the best episodes. I mean, you had around every corner from the first season... You had Amid the Ruins from last season, and, you know, from other Telltale games, you have Game of Thrones, which had a pretty disappointing penultimate episode. You had The Wolf Among Us, which had a pretty disappointing penultimate episode. The only, sorry, the only penultimate episode that I think was, like, really, really good was Tales from the Borderlands Escape Plan Bravo. That was an amazing episode, but... I'm hoping that this episode will not be as bad as I'm in the Ruins or Around Every Corner was. Hopefully it does a good po- a good job of moving the plot forward while also setting up for the finale. And hopefully that this season, despite a disappointing start, can uh, hit its stride and end on a good note. Because I would like to see this series continue. I would like to see this series you know, keep going. But, you know, this season has gotten a lot of complaints from some of Telltale's older fans, like how the endings didn't matter, how, um, cho- like, the balance, like, there's not a lot of good characterization, lack of exploration, shorter episodes, stuff like that. And I would just really hope that if there are to be future seasons, they put a lot more effort into listening to the criticisms and don't try this stupid tactic of appealing to newcomers and oldcomers. So anyway, I kind of really got way off base on that now that I think about it. Um, trailer reaction. Very good trailer. Looking forward to the episode out next Tuesday, and I'll see you guys then.